Christmas Carol the movie is a pretty great, mostly animated version of Dickens' A Christmas Carol. This was released in 2001. It's directed by Jimmy T. Murakami, and we have an amazing cast, which I'll get to in a moment. The only thing I don't like about this is the fact that it's called Christmas Carol the movie. Not A Christmas Carol. I believe it does actually have an alternative title of A Christmas Carol. I'm not sure if that's maybe regional, if it was released in certain countries under that title. But I definitely prefer it to Christmas Carol the movie. And this starts off with Dickens addressing an audience and reading out the story of A Christmas Carol. And the beginning's not very long. I'd say the animated section is no more than five minutes. I didn't time it, but it's definitely very brief and to the point. We have Simon Callow playing Dickens. He then voices Scrooge in the animation, which takes up the bulk of the rest of the film. And we have mostly the classic story. There are a few subtle changes, but nothing, nothing too significant. And Scrooge is visited by... Three spirits. We have the Ghost of Christmas Past, voiced by Jane Horrocks, the Ghost of Christmas Present, voiced by Michael Gambon, and the Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come. We also have Jacob Marley, Marley's voiced by Nicholas Cage. We also have Kate Winslet voicing Belle, Reese Ephens voices Bob Cratchit, really solid voice cast. And the animation itself is great in some parts and terrible in others. I don't know why exactly. Well, it's his head and his hair, but I hated the design of Bob Cratchit. Really not a fan. A lot of the characters just aren't great to look at, but Scrooge was. And the ghosts, the spirits, um, they are spirits, they're referred to as ghosts in the IMDb credits. Um, they are pretty great, uh, particularly the ghost of Christmas past. I thought she was uh, rather delightful and very, very ethereal, very beautiful, very much like a flame. She reminded me of a flame. The ghost of Christmas present is quite jolly and the ghost of Christmas yet to come is very dark and foreboding. Um, Marley wasn't my favourite. I have specific ideas of what I like Marley to look like and this just didn't really tick that box for me. So some of the animation I didn't like at all. Some of the animation was just not what I was looking for. But generally, it's quite well animated. It's a little slow at times. It takes quite a long time to get to even Marley. And then through various stages, I feel like things weren't weighted very evenly. Some bits lasted longer than I would have liked. Some bits felt shorter than I would have liked. So the pacing's not ideal. I feel like I'm being quite negative about it. The pacing isn't great. Some of the animation isn't great. But actually, I enjoyed it. I did. And I like the fact that we have this live-action introduction of, of Dickens telling this story. I think it, it was a nice way to set things up. If you've seen A Christmas Carol before or indeed read it, um, then I'd say absolutely watch it. If you've read A Christmas Carol but have never seen any adaptations, this wouldn't be the first I'd recommend. But at the same time, it's not bad. If you want to watch it, then I'd say go for it. I certainly enjoyed it. I probably wouldn't watch it again. There are many, many versions of A Christmas Carol I'd watched before this. But having said that, I have seen many, many of them. So that's not really saying too much about this film. It's not too bad. If you're a fan of A Christmas Carol, I think it's worth watching. It's a little fresh in places, a little slow in others. So definitely up and down, but generally an enjoyable film. Thankfully, the worst thing about it is the title. That really annoys me so much. I, I mean, it, it, maybe it shouldn't annoy me this much, but it does. What's wrong with A? Ah? Why can't we have A ah, Christmas Carol? Why is it Christmas Carol? I don't know if it's trying to be quirky and fun or different. I don't know. But if that's my biggest complaint, then I guess it's not done too bad. Definitely check it out if you're a fan of A Christmas Carol. I wouldn't suggest making it your introduction to A Christmas Carol, but otherwise, I'd say it's worth a watch at least once, maybe only once. But with a cast like that and some decent enough animation, it's worth taking a look at.